Super Mario has a giant rose gallery of villains, but you might have forgotten a few of them. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, ground pound that like button. And if you have any characters you'd like to add or think that I might've missed some, let me know in the comments down below. Love talking Mario Bros. All right, let's go. Here we go. These are our top five forgotten Super Mario Brother characters. Characters lost in time. Ones that I'd like to see return and some probably that never should. Let's go with number five, Goom Mario, a member of the Goomba species who serves as a partner character in Paper Mario. Goombario has not appeared in any other games since his debut. Number four, Cappy's sister. Super Mario Odyssey is a great game and in that game Cappy serves as Mario's hat and companion throughout. It is revealed that he has a sister who is also a sentient hat but she has yet to make an appearance in any other games. Maybe she is how Mario turns into a friggin elephant in wonder. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Number three Tatanga from Super Mario Land. The first one was uh you know a bit of a strange game and that's probably why We'll never see Tatanga in another game. He did, however, uh, return as a spirit opponent in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, and not only was Tatanga immediately overshadowed by Wario, but he never had any mainstream moments. There was a Super Mario manga, however, that had Mario Tennis and they doubled up characters and Tatanga was partnered with Bowser and that's it for him. Number two, Stanley the Bugman. This is from... Donkey Kong 3 is a minor character in Donkey Kong 3. He's actually the character you portray in Donkey Kong 3. Stanley was a bug exterminator tasked with fending off Donkey Kong and other insects. While he has made cameo appearances in other games, he has not had a significant role since. And number one, Pro Kira from Super Mario Land 2, the six golden rings. He is one of the few human-like enemies you will find in the entire Super Mario franchise all he really does is throw bats at mario he appeared in one level uh that's the pumpkin zone in super mario land 2 definitely overshadowed by the main antagonist wario in that game uh, but he just throws bats he appeared in a super mario manga and uh, i'd like to see more of uh, our little uh, dracula ripoff friend at some point uh, but he was so forgettable that i can't see it happening so i will not be holding my breath those are my top five forgettable, forgotten Mario characters. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, may you be the masters of your own universe.